Hey everybody, me is like Scams here, welcome you back to another episode of Let's Play Dark Souls, Prepare to Die Edition. Uh, I hope you enjoyed the little face cam the previous episode had to offer. I certainly enjoyed doing it, but I'm probably not going to do it that often unless you really want me to because it adds like 40 minutes to video rendering to have another track. Um, but you know how it is. We'll see. It certainly was interesting doing that. I don't know, I had to practice trying to keep my face in this shot and stuff. That's not what I'm very good at usually. But, um, yep. So, positive or negative reactions, it's all the same to me. If you like it, you like it. If you dislike it, you dislike it. I'm not going to be doing it that often anyways. Um, but, yeah. It's an option. I may consider it in the future. We'll see. Uh, I'm just purchasing arrows for future reference. You'll see. Okay. Anyways. Probably need to unlock this shortcut and rest at the bonfire. But, you know. Just gonna open this door and let's go. Onward to victory. Yay. But yeah, um... Ow. You attack too fast. Leave me alone. How can you do 40 points of poise damage too? Like, seriously. You're not even tough. Ah. I am getting cut the heck up. That was bad. But, we're okay. Oh, you didn't jump into it. And then you actually jumped into me. What a whore. Two-handed repost of justice. Anyway, ooh, you dropped a thing, didn't you? No, you didn't. You were just shiny, so I thought you dropped a thing. Anyways. Jump. Yes. Yay. Okay, so we've rested at this. Now, let's go. If I'm going to be perfectly honest, the depths isn't a very long place. It only takes a few minutes to complete. Like, you can literally get in 30 seconds from start to end of the depths. So, like, you know, it doesn't, it's not a hard dungeon at all. Um, but, uh, yeah, I think we're going to go with the Wing Spear for this playthrough, because apparently at plus 14 and 15, you get a B scaling in Dex with this weapon which is pretty much perfect for what I want to be doing. So we may as well use it, right? Come here. Um, you will be seeing that I'm mostly two-handing it, because I honestly prefer two-handing spears, even though one of the biggest parts of it is that you can do this. But I just, I don't really think that you get enough damage output from attacking behind the shield. So, mainly going to be two-handing it. You know how it is. You know how it is. I know you yeah, know how it is. Those words didn't make sense together, and they didn't come out of my mouth right, so there you go. <sighs> what am I wearing? Oh, Powell's right That's what I thought. Um, so he got stabbed. He's nice and dead now. Not a big deal. Then right over here is something. I don't remember. Aren't you lost and dead? That's pretty good. We are key to the depths. Soap. I jump and smash all this crap. Yeah. Mm. And this guy wants it. Thrust. And this guy wants it. Thrust. This guy wants it. Thrust. We should probably heal up. Just in case. And this guy surely wants it. I missed, so it doesn't make a difference though. Thrust. These guys. Are not gonna be fun at all. Although I do have a spear, so I can outrange them pretty easily. Plus, I have a shield that I can attack behind. So it's like you know. Uh, we may actually end up going with a Leo ring for this build because you can get some pretty good damage from thrusting with the Leo ring, you know. Uh. We'll see though. Let's try and Grave Lord Greatsword dance. 
That was awesome. Okay. So, dodge that, dodge that. Thrust, thrust, dodge that. Miss that. Hello. Thrust, thrust. Ow. That kind of hurt. Uh, heal up while she's attacking. Oop. Nope. Ow. Nope. Yeah, these guys aren't very hard, but they do a lot of damage if you let them hit you. So try and avoid that usually would be the best option. Large Ember. Yay. Um... I'm not going to be showing everything you can get the de get in the depths because, for one, I don't know where it is, honestly, and two, not if it's really worth it anyways. Um, I will be showing where to find the Pyromancer and other stuff like that, but in the shortcut, that can get you through the depths in a matter of seconds. But you know how it is. You, yes, you, I know. Get out of my way. Please help me. I've already helped you. Look, you're helped. Thank you, you should have to think what would happen. Yeah, smash this stuff, yeah, yeah. All that stuff has been smashed. That was pretty much the best thing that could have happened ever. Um, then we gotta find another one today. Oh, hello. Ah, that hurt. Uh, backstabbed. I did a lot, actually. Oh, it's thrusting, thrusting. Ah, eat that blade twice. Not three times, though. That'd be painful. I might die here. Oh, my God. She killed me. Oh, my God. That's embarrassing. Mm, that's really embarrassing. <sighs> wow. That sucks. I got overzealous and hoped that I could stun lock with a spear. How do you stun lock with a spear? That doesn't work. A spear is an offensive weapon, bees. Learn to play. Come on. Frack. What you're doing? Nope. Does have some pretty good range though. The thing is the thing about this spear that I'm using now though is it does have very little range. It's good range, but it's not much more than an S talk actually. Which can be a little bit depressing. Um but you know how it is. Come on. Come on. Come on. <sighs> Anyways, it's a good thing at the run back to the depths isn't too long, and that we weren't very far in. We were actually really close to the bonfire, so I'm a little bit sad that we died, but it is what it is, and it is how it is, when it is, for it is. Is. Maybe? Frack. Anyways, so, now none of those words made sense. Let's just continue on and plunging attack this guy. Oh god. Oh god. That didn't feel good. It's gonna plunging attack him, but I suppose we jumped off a cliff instead. That's still a pretty good use of our time, right? I think so. Um, we that was a long and unnecessary walk. How are you doing? Let me just thrust you out of my way. Smash the barrage. Nope. <laughs> Dodging attack does a lot of damage, actually. Nope. You're dead. You're dead, you're dead. Nope. You're dead, too. We don't have to kill that other dog over there. How about no? Might actually need her shield for this one. That works. Come here, Roger. You'll notice she jumped down again. It's not a big deal, though. Avoid that, because she pins you and then hits you with a lot of damage. So, doesn't feel that good.
range. Sack. Woot woot. Yep. Got our sack, which I actually like the looks of. So there you go. I'm just gonna open this door. We right through the door. Um. What do you think you are? You slime thing. No, sit down. Thrust you to death. Ah! That hurt. Up, oh, drops soft humanity though, so can't say I'm complaining. Um, one of these has a bow. Wait, nothing has a bow. Okay. Uh, could have sworn we had a bow, but I guess not. That's the case. Ah. Uh, I've heard if you spam buttons, you can escape this faster, but I don't know, I've never managed to do it. Oh, maybe you can escape it faster, that's kind of nice. Anyways, let me alone, thrust you, you leave me alone too, open this door with our master key, and go. So, I guess you can escape that a little bit faster, the more you know. Hmm. Never even knew that, actually, guys. Now let's up our decks. No, strength. No, endurance. <laughs> yeah, endurance. We'll just have that at 20 and leave it there for a long time. Because we don't need it much higher than that for a good while, actually. So running back through here is a lot easier than running forward through here. Although you're in the way, you need to get out of the way. So now I cut you in half. Um, so now that we're at 20 endurance, we're pretty much just going to spam our dex up to 24 and then vitality up to 16. So, yep, that's how that's going to work. Ow. What's my attunement at right now? 12. So it'll be good for a while. We should rely more on our fireballs, because we are air pyromancer for a reason, you know? Oh god, this was not that reason. Got out of my life. You should not bleed me out. Yeah, so right through here is the shortcut that I was talking about earlier. As you can see, or can you see? I don't know. That depends on how familiar you are with the depths. But there's a rat down there. So he's pretty much the friendliest of the friendlies. There's a spider shield if you haven't already gotten one. Um, let's just throw some fireballs on him for now. This does a lot of damage to him, as you can see. So that's a pretty good strategy for killing him. Let's actually throw one more on him for good measure. Oh, that actually killed him. I didn't think it would. We probably honestly needed to th only throw, like, one, and we could have plunging attacked him to death. But that was the sewer key. That's how you get to that bonfire I showed you just a second ago. So that's pretty good. Um, yeah, like I said, probably only one little thing was needed. And right down here will take you to the very end of the depths. So, that's, uh, yeah, kind of a short level. And then right up here is a shortcut that takes you back to that bonfire. Um, actually, now that I think about it, it would be better just to go that way from the start. Because it gives you the sewer key, which you can use in here. So, huh. Perhaps I'm going to do that in my next steps run. Never thought about that. That shortens the time I spend in here by like a lot, actually. What we're going to do here is we're going to reverse hollowing, and we may as well kindle. I don't see any reason not to kindle if we're already going to reverse hollowing. Plus, we have like three soft humanities in our stock, so let's just do it. Yep, we've done it. Well done, us. Um, let's see what was I going to do. 
I forget. I won't remember. Later. Eventually. I hope. Anyways, this guy wants thrusted. Let's see. Whoa, a summoning sign. Eh, let's not do it. Um, I usually summon Solaire for this fight, but in my most recent experiences, I've actually been having more problems <laughs> with the fight having Solaire. Like, Gaping Dragon just combos him into a wall, doesn't let him escape, kills him, so it's like, what's even the point? Well then. Ah, third rat, get out of my life. The slime is chasing me. Do not approve. Wow. So that thrusting attack uses like all of our stamina. Remind me not to use that too much. Ah. There we go. Oh, what are you up to? Anyways, but yeah, since we're human, and the only reason we're human will be here in a second. Ah, uh, don't get cursed, that'd be terrible. Okay. Um, yes, this was the only reason we were cursed, I mean human. So, ow. i just give you a good stab in the back. Trust you once, you know, maybe twice for good measure. Uh, but yeah, Kirk's not hard at all. He's mostly just a joke. Yeah, so he's nice and dead now. That was really hard, I'm sure. Got a free humanity and a bunch of souls for it. Um, yeah. <laughs> so now I will show you my method for killing, because you might be saying right now, and probably be right, honestly, and thinking, but me is what about that caster who messes with you and buffs the gaping dragon? Well, I'll show you my way of taking care of him, which is pretty easy and can be done by anyone, truly. That thing tried to kill me. What a whore. Anyways. Um, yeah, so, as you know, or may not know, I suppose, there is a caster who can do a lot of damage to you and just generally make this fight nigh on impossible. But, what you can do is you can literally shoot him in the head from here with your bow. So it's like, that's even the point of trying to find him. Dead. Not a big deal. <laughs> so yeah, that's, uh, that's how I usually take care of him. He's much less of a problem if you do it that way. He's not even really a problem if you do it any other way, really. Like, you can go around and find him, but that takes a lot more effort, so I say screw that usually. Um, plus, he'll have a bunch of buffed rats with him, which can be good for killing if you want to get some humanities, but not usually necessary. Um, and this is a heavy crossbow. And what we're going to need to do here is we're going to need to unequip all of our crap and actually equip, if I can find it, that is, cold pine resins. There's a summoning sign. A human summoning sign. Uh, should we do it? Yeah, let's try and do it. If it doesn't work, well, then we won't summon him, but if it does work, then let's do it. Here's a nice looking chest piece. Oh, it worked! Amazing! So, let us give him a bow. Hello, sir. Bow to you. Yoink. And uh, I guess if we've already summoned this guy, we may as well summon Sol. Nah, it's not summon Solaire. Let's just go. I can't believe that actually worked first try. Amazing. Wonderful. Fantastic. Yeah. Maybe they updated their net code. Probably not, but maybe. You never know. You never really know, honestly. Uh, so yeah, we have here vagina monster. Very scary, I'm sure. 
He's got a fat belly. Look at that. Amazing. Delicious. Wonderful. Uh, but yeah, so this boss is the Gaping Dragon. <sighs> He's not very hard, um, honestly. If you can just stay behind him, uh, he won't be hitting you most of the time. And then you can, like, poke him for a bunch of damage from the very beginning. Although, yeah, that could happen. That sucks. They do do extra damage. <sighs> when you have a summon. Uh, they do do extra damage and have extra health when you summon. So you should always bear that in mind. But honestly, it's not even a big deal, really. Um, that was just me being in a terrible place at a terrible time for a terrible moment versus Gaping Dragon. Failing to avoid lock-on and then getting ran over is pretty much the best thing that could have ever happened ever. Truly. Um, that was my mistake. I apologize. It won't happen again. Uh, I've actually been having a lot of trouble with Gaping Dragon recently. Like, he'll kill me at least one time before I beat him, which is weird because he's not a hard boss. Um, but it is how it is, and it is what it is, how it is, for what it is, every time it is. Because every time we touch, I get this feeling. Anyways, let's skip that. Then run, pick up our souls. Noink. Try and avoid this first charge. See, so he's just gonna charge over there. So we're gonna do when he's done charging, and we're gonna cut off his tail. Ooh. Okay, come on. Get the tail. Get the tail. Get the tail. Get the tail. I'm scared. Truly. Anyways. Uh, ow. I forgot I didn't cut off his tail yet. So we may be boned here. Um, we don't have very much vitality, as you may have been able to tell. We don't have very much defense with this armor, and that apparently hits through shields. Good to know. We'll bear that in mind. And we're in the corner with Gaping Dragon. This isn't going to go well at all. No, he keeps his pimp slapping hand nice and strong, and he keeps his body eating abilities nice and fresh as well. Um, this is embarrassing, isn't it? Uh, honestly, he's not a hard boss. I shouldn't be having trouble with him. Um, what am I doing? Oh god. Um, this is a perfect opportunity to gold pine resin. Lose two hands. Run up on that tail. Come on. Come on. Hit it. <laughs> ah, spear makes it hard to hit the tail. A lot. There we go. Ow. Don't dodge my not. Stop smacking me with that tail. I swear to God. Just want to cut it off. This boss really isn't hard. I don't know why I'm having any trouble with it. Um, but it is what I is. It is, I suppose. Come on. I swear to God, tail. So there's the warrior starting set if you didn't start as a warrior most of the time. You will start as a warrior. This warrior is a fantastic starting class. Anyways, here's where we use the bow. It's just gonna no scope him a little bit. Let's get a little bit of extra damage while we can. Um, then he's gonna charge. So while he's charging, we're gonna run along with him. And then you can just stab him in the belly. Or huge damage, huge damage belly stabs. Look at this, look at this, look at this. So many damages. And then just run away. Pull out your bow, even. Get a few shots off. I'm trying to avoid getting hit by that. Just do some more damage with this. Although, he did land on us with that, so that's not good. 
He's getting a lot better at aiming with that landy thing, which is interesting. Um, he's probably going to charge. Yep. That was a dumb time to heal because I could have survived a hit, but it is what it is. We're just going to attack his legs some more. Get a little bit more damage off. Now we're going to run away. And lock on, hopefully. There we go. Shoot him once in the face for good measure. Uh, this boss is pretty good to practice no scopes on. Because he's pretty big and he stands still. Um. No scoping is actually pretty useful in this game if you get good at it because you can use it to pretty consistently hit other players. This is bad. I don't want to be in this at all. But if you dodge it, it usually doesn't even do damage. So it's like, what's the point? Just get off as much damage as you can wherever you can. Go back to two-handing your weapon if you must. Let him charge a little bit. You know, you know the drill at this point. Proving once again the Gaping Dragon Super Ez. Get off some big damage stabs, maybe one more. Then roll away, pull out your bow. Press the wrong button again. Get smacked around a little bit, just for good measure. He's hungry. And he vomited. Ah! Okay, so he's almost dead. We saw one of the most rinse repeat boss fights in the game, and it is over. Thank you for watching me fail. That was really embarrassing. Blight Town Key got. Oh boy, it only gets worse from here, I tell you what. And a bunch of souls. 25k souls, actually, so that's pretty good. Um, makes me nice and happy right there. You know how it is, uh, uh, getting souls like a sir. Now we're going to go ahead and actually we're going to upgrade our Vitality. I know I said I wasn't going to, but almost getting one shot by everything he did made me realize that we're going to really need it a lot. Actually, and I have hiccups, so that's pretty fun as well. So yeah, we're going to actually go ahead and upgrade our Vitality just a little bit. Probably going to actually go ahead and bring it to 16. Not 100% sure what I'm going to do with my vitality, honestly. Just, yeah, probably 16 will be good. Because um, 16 vitality is another, like, 200 over what I have now. So, yeah, it's pretty important. We can even bring it to 18. That'd give us an extra bunch. Yeah, we're going to go ahead and do that. So now we have, act now we have actual HP, which is pretty good. Helps a lot. Uh, so, to start Blight Town or not to start Blight Town? That is the actual question here, truly, if you think about it. Um, go ahead and unequip this. And replace this with one of these. Uh, I'm not excited. I'm not excited, honestly, at all. I don't like Blight Town, I don't think it's fun. And it's pretty easy to speed run through, but since like it is easy to speed run through, and you can skip like all of it. But since we're doing a let's play, I don't want to skip all of it. I want to do it all, but I hate it. So it's like, what do we do? This guy's pretty neat. He sells you boss weapons back in fi boss armors back in Firelink Shrine once you beat An Orlando, which is one of my favorite places in the game because it's so dang pretty. Um. Yeah, Gauntlets of the Vanquisher are pretty good. They have decent stats. Armor of the Glorious is actually a really good piece of armor. Uh, who knows, we might end up using that in the future. We're not 100% not sure if we 
we ever need some poise that we don't want to use the wolf ring for, we most definitely will. But anyways, welcome my friends to Blight Town. Uh it's Blight Town isn't too bad of a place, honestly, you can and with our spear it's gonna be a bit easier than it usually is, because we can't attack from behind shields. Um Usually what I'll just do in this place, though, is I'll just pick up the Aito and then just run through it all and say, well, we're done here. But can't do that, can't we? Nope. Nope, nope, nope. This guy's not very nice. He tries to hit you off of the cliff. Usually succeeds because he's a whore. Um, you can back him off the cliff as well, though. Spare that in mind. Uh, these guys do a lot of damage because they have a large club, which is one of the most threatening weapons in the game, in my opinion. I mean, I'm scared of people who run at me with that thing. Shouldn't you be? Yeah. That right there, my friends, is why I don't like this place. Because there's a lot of cliffs, and I'm prone to falling off of cliffs. Um, I'm not actually sure how long this episode's been going on. Let me actually check. Probably for too long, so... I'm gonna go ahead and say... This has been Weaselix Games, welcoming you to... Not really welcoming you. Leaving this episode of Let's Play Dark Souls, Prepare to Die Edition. In the next episode, we'll be tackling Blight Town. Yay! And that'll be it, because... <laughs> so, bye guys.